Welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you can get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. On this week's episode, we're going to look at how to make a metal shelf in the back of your Jeep for little money. Stick around. Building a shelf in the back of the Jeep could have all kinds of uses. If you remember in our camping sleeping platform video, there was one point in the video where I realized that a rear shelf would make a good working surface or even just to store things on. So I started thinking of a few ways to do it, maybe based on the floor of the Jeep, sitting on the tub of the Jeep, but I think I've come up with something even better. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we are in the back of the Jeep and there's all kinds of thoughts to how you can fabricate some kind of shelf in the back here, maybe build it up from the floor, maybe secure it on the edge of the tub, but I found a really clever way to have something that's even more secure. And what we have here is the inside of the Jeep, and this is the roll bar just behind the rear seat on the passenger side, and there's similar roll bar on the driver's side. And you can see this little piece of plastic trim. Well, interestingly, this simply pops off. And you can see the metal clips right here on this piece of plastic trim. So we'll just put this aside. And what I'm going to draw your attention to are these two bolt holes. These are here for mounting of the soft top, but I don't have that. But I do have access to these bolt holes. The size of the bolt that fits these holes is the same size as the bolts in the hard top itself. I believe it's M8 1.25. So if you go to your local fastener store, you'll be able to buy similar bolts that you could use to begin fastening things to your roll bar and so the plan here is to buy some pieces of metal at the local box store and come up with some kind of bracket to support a shelf so let's get to it so let's get started with the tools you'll need of course you'll need some eye protection a hacksaw to cut the metal a grinding wheel or file to smooth your cuts and then a drill with a small bit to start the hole and a 3 8 inch bit for the finish hole and then of course a socket and wrench. Thanks Lenny. For materials you'll need some galvanized slotted steel angle at one and a half inch by three feet which is to be cut in half and two flat steel bar that's one eighth by one inch by three feet where each of these pieces are going to be cut into three pieces. Here are the dimensions of the cuts that you'll be interested in, but they're also available on the website if you need more time to study them. Here is an image that shows how the pieces are arranged when they are to be installed. The first two holes up here are connected to the roll bar using two M8 by 1.25 bolts with oversized bolt spacers in behind. The three lower holes are where three 5 16 by half inch bolts are installed with washers and nylock nuts. So now that we have the big picture, let's begin the installation. Take the long piece, install the M8 bolts in the two holes. Take the short piece, install it in the second hole, and the medium piece in the first hole. Then fit your oversized bolts to act as spacers so as the bracket does not harm your trim. Then hand tighten the bolts. Then insert the 5 16 by half inch bolts. The two washers on the shorter pieces act as a spacer. Attach your nylock nuts and then tighten your bracket. And it's as simple as that. You now have a very strong metal bracket made with just a hacksaw, a drill, and a wrench. Here's a shot showing the spacers and the angle bracket. And now we'll watch the procedure to finish up on the other side. I decided that the bolts should be turned around so that the nuts are facing the outside part of the bracket. 
and the three locations of those bolts are at the second hole, the eighth hole, and the sixteenth hole from the forward edge. If you change your dimensions so that your shelf is located differently, you'll have to figure out which holes will make it level. And now the job is done. I have two very strong metal shelf brackets installed and attached to the roll bar. And now it's time to install the shelf material of choice. For me, it's 3 quarter inch plywood and the dimensions are 18 deep by 42 and 3 eighths inch wide. That's a safety precaution. I picked up four of these bumper stops at about 60 cents each and installed them on the corners of the angle brackets so that nobody gets hurt. All in all, we are about at $40 all in Canadian for the very secure and sturdy metal shelf brackets. Now we use some plywood that we had lying around for the shelf, but there are other options that we'll cover in this week's tip segment. But also for those Jeepers out there that aren't into DIY, I am going to include links to commercial cargo shelves where the prices range from $200 and $300. The links to those shelves will be in the description section of the video. Hey, that looked pretty good. Let's have a look at this week's tip. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. Another option for the shelving would be wire closet shelving. It's inexpensive and is very lightweight. I would recommend, however, perhaps to run a couple hockey sticks across the angle brackets to support that wire shelf. Otherwise, it would be an interesting option. Okay, so now let's have a look at this week's subscriber tip. And now for subscribers tips. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, when we go camping in our Jeep, we use a couple tubs to quickly organize our gear when it's time to hit the road. I didn't see anything like that in your camping overlanding playlist, so I thought I'd share. Signed, Chuck Box. Hey Chuck, thanks a lot for the tip. I was thinking of developing something like that. I was thinking of making a box with certain dimensions that can hold all my camping gear. I was thinking where I designed a box where the front would open up to a work surface, the side would have a flap for another surface, I could put a water bottle on the top, a spot for my camp stove, the lid to the box would make a work surface, and I would have a spot for my pots and pans, and the door would open to store my spices. But that might be too complex, I may try to simplify it, perhaps in a future video. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. We hope you found it helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so or share or, of course, give this video a like. That's it. Till next week, I'm Dino, your host for Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so you can get the most for your Jeep. Till then, stay safe, be well, take care.